In Greek mythology, hypnos, meaning sleep, personifies slumber, with his Roman counterpart known as Somnus. He's often depicted as the son of Nyx, the goddess of night, sometimes with Erebus, the god of darkness, as his father. Hypnos dwells in the underworld alongside his twin brother Thanatos, the embodiment of death. Legends describe Hypnos residing in a cavern where the river Leith, symbolizing forgetfulness, flows, creating an environment of perpetual darkness and silence. Hypnos's familial ties extend to his marriage to Pasithea, one of the charities promised to him by Hera. Despite his association with sleep and tranquility, Hypnos is not without his mischievous exploits. In one myth, he aids Hera in deceiving Zeus during the Trojan War, contributing to the victory of the Danans. Hypnos' involvement showcases his ability to manipulate dreams and influence the course of events. Another tale involving Hypnos portrays his affection for Endymion, ensuring his beloved remains awake to admire his beauty even while asleep. This alternative narrative adds depth to Hypnos' character, depicting him as a deity capable of fostering enduring admiration and love. In art, Hypnos is a recurring motif, often depicted on vases and sculptures. One notable artwork, Ariadne Abandoned by Theseus, portrays Hypnos as a winged figure gently bestowing slumber upon Ariadne. Additionally, a bronze head of Hypnos, adorned with wings and intricate hair arrangements, is housed in the British Museum. The legacy of Hypnos extends beyond mythology into modern language, with the term Hypnosis derived from his name. Hypnosis, inducing a sleep-like state, and hypnotics, medications that promote sleep, both owe their names to the god of slumber, perpetuating his influence in contemporary discourse. Nightmare Purgatory, a concept steeped in folklore and psychology, describes a state of torment experienced during sleep, characterized by distressing and vivid dreams. Unlike typical nightmares that dissipate upon waking, nightmare purgatory entails a prolonged period of intense psychological distress within the dream state. In various cultures and belief systems, nightmares are often interpreted as manifestations of spiritual or psychological turmoil. Nightmare purgatory represents a heightened form of this phenomenon, where individuals find themselves trapped in a nightmarish realm, unable to escape the cycle of torment. Psychologically, nightmare purgatory may be associated with unresolved traumas, anxieties, or fears that manifest during sleep. These dreams can be highly vivid and immersive, blurring the line between wakefulness and slumber, amplifying feelings of dread and helplessness. The experience of nightmare purgatory often involves recurring themes or scenarios that evoke profound feelings of unease or terror. These dreams may feature surreal landscapes, menacing figures, or situations fraught with danger, intensifying the sense of being trapped in a nightmarish reality. While nightmare purgatory is a common theme in literature, folklore, and popular culture, its significance lies in its portrayal of the human psyche's capacity for confronting and processing deep-seated fears and anxieties. From a psychological perspective, these dreams may serve as a mechanism for the subconscious mind to address unresolved emotional issues or traumas. Although nightmare purgatory can be distressing, it is important to recognize that dreams, including nightmares, often contain symbolic meaning that can be explored and understood. By examining the underlying themes and emotions present in these dreams, individuals may gain insight into their innermost thoughts and feelings, facilitating personal growth and psychological healing. Fever dreams, a phenomenon widely experienced during periods of illness accompanied by elevated body temperature, are characterized by vivid, intense, and often surreal dream experiences. These dreams occur when the body's immune response triggers an increase in core temperature, leading to disruptions in normal sleep patterns and the onset of unusual dream content. During fever dreams, individuals may encounter a variety of bizarre and unsettling scenarios that reflect the heightened activity of the brain during sleep. These dreams can range from fantastical landscapes and vivid colors to distorted perceptions of time and space, creating a surreal and disorienting experience for the dreamer. One of the hallmarks of fever dreams is their emotional intensity, with dreamers often reporting heightened feelings of fear, anxiety, or confusion. 
The combination of fever-induced delirium and the brain's heightened state of arousal during sleep can result in a heightened emotional response to dream content, amplifying feelings of distress or unease. In addition to their emotional intensity, fever dreams may also be characterized by fragmented or nonsensical narratives, with dream sequences unfolding in a disjointed or illogical manner. This fragmentation of dream content reflects the disrupted brain activity associated with fever and may contribute to the overall sense of disorientation experienced during these dreams. While fever dreams can be unsettling, they are generally considered to be a normal and temporary side effect of illness. As the body's temperature returns to normal and the underlying illness subsides, the frequency and intensity of fever dreams typically diminish, allowing for a return to more typical dream experiences. From a psychological perspective, fever dreams provide insight into the complex interplay between the body and mind during periods of illness. These dreams may serve as a reflection of the body's physiological state, with fever-induced changes in brain function manifesting as unusual and vivid dream content. Succubi and incubi are mythical creatures that have long captured the imagination, appearing in folklore and legend across various cultures throughout history. These entities are believed to be demonic spirits or supernatural beings that visit individuals, often during sleep, with the intent of engaging in sexual activity. The succubus is typically depicted as a female demon who appears to men in their dreams, seducing them and engaging in sexual intercourse. In contrast, the incubus is portrayed as a male demon who targets women, similarly appearing in their dreams and seeking sexual encounters. Legends surrounding succubi and incubi often describe them as alluring and irresistible, possessing the ability to shapeshift and take on forms that appeal to their victims' desires. They may appear as beautiful and seductive beings, drawing their prey into a state of arousal and desire. While succubi and incubi are most commonly associated with sexual encounters in dreams, some folklore also suggests that they can manifest in the physical world, appearing to their victims while they are awake. In these instances, individuals may report feeling a presence in their bedrooms or experiencing sensations of being touched or caressed by an unseen entity. The origins of succubi and incubi can be traced back to ancient Mesopotamian and Jewish mythology, where they were often depicted as malevolent spirits or demons that preyed upon humans, particularly during the night. Over time, these creatures became integrated into various religious and cultural traditions, evolving to fit the beliefs and fears of different societies. In medieval Europe, succubi and incubi were frequently blamed for nocturnal emissions, sleep paralysis, and other nocturnal disturbances. They were often depicted as harbingers of sin and temptation, representing the dangers of lust and sexual desire. Despite their sinister reputation, succubi and incubi have also been romanticized in literature, art, and popular culture, with many modern interpretations portraying them as tragic or misunderstood figures. In contemporary fiction, they are often depicted as complex characters struggling with their own desires and emotions, rather than simply malevolent entities. While succubi and incubi continue to fascinate and intrigue us, their existence remains a matter of myth and legend, with no scientific evidence to support their reality. Nevertheless, these mythical creatures continue to captivate our imaginations, reminding us of the enduring power of folklore and the human fascination with the supernatural. Healing dreams are a type of dream that is believed to have therapeutic or restorative effects on the dreamer's mental, emotional, or physical well-being. These dreams often occur during times of illness, emotional distress, or significant life changes, providing comfort, insight, or guidance to the dreamer. Healing dreams can take many forms, ranging from vivid symbolic experiences to subtle messages or sensations that leave a lasting impact on the dreamer. Some people report experiencing healing dreams as a sense of peace or resolution upon waking, while others may feel a sense of relief or clarity about a challenging situation. The content of healing dreams can vary widely, depending on the individual's personal experiences, beliefs, and subconscious mind. They may involve encounters with deceased loved ones, 
spiritual guides, or symbols of healing and renewal. In some cases, healing dreams may offer solutions to problems or dilemmas that the dreamer is facing, providing new perspectives or insights that lead to positive changes in waking life. While the exact mechanisms behind healing dreams are not fully understood, many cultures and spiritual traditions have long recognized the power of dreams to facilitate healing and transformation. Some people actively seek out healing dreams through practices such as dream incubation, meditation, or prayer, inviting guidance or support from the subconscious mind or higher spiritual forces. Whether experienced spontaneously or intentionally cultivated, healing dreams have the potential to offer comfort, guidance, and hope to those in need, serving as a source of inspiration and renewal in times of adversity. False awakenings occur when a person believes they have woken up from sleep only to realize later that they are still dreaming. This phenomenon can be disorienting and confusing as individuals may go about their daily routines in the dream, unaware that they are still asleep. False awakenings often involve vivid and realistic scenarios that closely resemble waking life. People may perform familiar tasks such as getting dressed, eating breakfast, or going to work, only to suddenly realize that they are still in bed. These experiences can be unsettling, causing feelings of anxiety or frustration as individuals struggle to distinguish between reality and the dream world. Some may even attempt to wake themselves up repeatedly, only to find themselves still dreaming each time. False awakenings are not uncommon and can occur spontaneously or be triggered by factors such as stress, anxiety, or changes in sleep patterns. They are more likely to happen during periods of REM sleep, when dreams are most vivid and intense. While false awakenings can be confusing and unsettling, they can also be a source of inspiration for creative endeavors such as literature, art, and film. Many artists and writers have drawn upon their own experiences with false awakenings to explore themes of reality, perception, and the nature of consciousness. Dreamcore is a genre of music that combines elements of ambient, electronic, and experimental music to create soundscapes that evoke the sensations and emotions experienced during dreams. It often features ethereal melodies, atmospheric textures, and intricate rhythms that aim to transport listeners into a dreamlike state. Dreamcore artists draw inspiration from a wide range of sources, including nature, technology, and personal experiences, to craft immersive sonic landscapes that blur the line between reality and imagination. The genre has gained popularity in recent years due to its ability to evoke feelings of nostalgia, introspection, and wonder, making it a popular choice for relaxation, meditation, and introspective listening experiences. Dreamcore music is often used in film soundtracks, video game scores, and other multimedia projects to create ambience and enhance the overall mood and atmosphere. Dreamcore is also a surrealist aesthetic expressed through images, videos, and occasionally music, depicting motifs commonly associated with dreams, daydreams, or nightmares. It shares similarities with Weirdcore and aims to evoke feelings of familiarity, nostalgia, and confusion. Visual representations of Dreamcore often feature elements such as liminal spaces, unrealistic terrains, and fantasy-like landscapes, creating a dreamlike quality. These visuals are typically characterized by pastel or vivid colors and may include characters with surreal features, text, and various digital elements like pop-up windows or RPG elements. Common motifs in Dreamcore visuals include eyes, teeth, wings, rainbows, mention of familiar places and people, bubbles, flowers, mushrooms, and strange creatures. The origins of Dreamcore are uncertain, with various creators contributing to its development. It gained popularity in the early mid-2020 as through platforms like TikTok, where videos containing dreamlike visuals and original characters became prevalent. Childhood dreams are vivid and imaginative experiences that occur during sleep in children. These dreams often reflect their daily experiences, fears, desires, and fantasies. Children's dreams can range from delightful adventures to unsettling nightmares, influenced by their growing understanding of the world around them. During childhood, dreams play a crucial role in cognitive and emotional development, 
helping children process their experiences and emotions. Dreams may incorporate elements from their waking life, such as interactions with family members, friends, pets, or favorite characters from books or television. Children's dreams are characterized by fantastical elements, such as flying, talking animals, magical powers, and visits to imaginary worlds. These dreams reflect children's boundless creativity and their ability to explore new concepts and ideas without the constraints of reality. Nightmares are also common in childhood, often triggered by fears of monsters, ghosts, or other threatening situations. These dreams can be distressing for children, but provide an opportunity for them to confront and overcome their fears in a safe environment. Research suggests that children's dreams may serve as a form of rehearsal for real-life situations, helping them develop problem-solving skills and emotional resilience. By navigating challenges and conflicts in their dreams, children can learn to cope with similar situations in their waking life. Out-of-body dreams, also known as astral projection or astral travel, are experiences where individuals feel as though their consciousness has left their physical body. These dreams often involve sensations of floating or flying, and the dreamer may perceive themselves observing their physical body from an external perspective. During out-of-body dreams, individuals report a sense of freedom from the constraints of their physical body. They may explore their surroundings or travel to distant places, sometimes encountering entities or experiencing events beyond the realm of ordinary reality. Out-of-body dreams have been reported across cultures and throughout history, with accounts dating back centuries. Some people interpret these experiences as spiritual or metaphysical phenomena, while others view them as purely psychological manifestations of the dreaming mind. While the exact nature of out-of-body dreams remains a subject of debate, they continue to intrigue and fascinate those who experience them. Whether seen as glimpses into alternate dimensions or simply the product of the subconscious mind, these dreams offer a unique and often surreal journey beyond the boundaries of waking reality. A lucid nightmare occurs when a person becomes aware that they are dreaming, but experiences a frightening or distressing dream. Unlike regular nightmares where the dreamer is not conscious of dreaming, in a lucid nightmare, the individual is aware of their dream state, but feels unable to control or escape from the frightening elements of the dream. This can lead to a heightened sense of fear and anxiety as the dreamer feels trapped within their own subconscious creation. In lucid nightmares, individuals may try to exert control over the dream environment or their actions within the dream, but find themselves unable to do so, amplifying feelings of helplessness and terror. Despite knowing that they are dreaming, the dreamer may still feel the intense emotions associated with the nightmare scenario, making the experience particularly distressing. Lucid nightmares can vary widely in content and may include themes such as being chased, falling, encountering monsters or supernatural entities, or experiencing physical harm. The dreamer may feel a sense of dread or impending doom throughout the dream, even though they are aware that it is not real. While lucid dreaming is often seen as a positive experience that allows individuals to explore their subconscious and control their dream environment, lucid nightmares represent a darker side of this phenomenon. They can be psychologically unsettling and may leave a lasting impact on the individual's mental well-being, causing anxiety or sleep disturbances even after waking up. PTSD nightmares are a common symptom of post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. They occur during REM sleep and often involve vivid and distressing dreams related to past traumatic experiences. These nightmares can be highly disruptive to sleep and can cause intense fear, anxiety, and distress upon waking. Unlike typical nightmares, which may involve fantastical or improbable scenarios, PTSD nightmares often directly replay or symbolize traumatic events experienced by the individual. This can make them particularly distressing and difficult to cope with. PTSD nightmares can trigger intense emotional and physical reactions, such as sweating, rapid heart rate, and feelings of terror or helplessness. They may also lead to avoidance of sleep or bedtime rituals aimed at preventing or minimizing nightmares, which can contribute to sleep disturbances and insomnia. 
Treatment for PTSD nightmares often involves a combination of therapy and medication. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT techniques such as imagery rehearsal therapy, IRT, are commonly used to help individuals change the content and frequency of their nightmares. Medications such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs or prazosin, may also be prescribed to reduce the frequency and intensity of nightmares. Nightmare death is a phenomenon where individuals believe they have died during a nightmare. This experience can feel intensely real, often involving situations where the dreamer faces imminent danger or fatal events. Despite the vividness of the experience, nightmare death is considered a type of dream rather than an actual death. The sensation of dying in a nightmare can trigger strong emotions, such as fear, panic, or distress, even after waking up. Some people report feeling shaken or unsettled by these dreams long after they have occurred. Nightmare deaths are often characterized by scenarios like falling from great heights, being chased by a predator, or experiencing a life-threatening accident. These dreams can be so convincing that upon waking, individuals may experience confusion or disorientation, questioning whether they are still alive, or if the events were real. Nightmare deaths can also lead to sleep disturbances, such as difficulty falling asleep or reluctance to go back to sleep due to fear of experiencing another frightening dream. While nightmare deaths can be distressing, they are a normal part of the dreaming process and do not pose any physical harm. Understanding that these dreams are a product of the subconscious mind and not reflective of actual events can help individuals cope with the fear and anxiety they may induce. The BZ drug, also known as 3-quinoclidinyl benzylate, is a potent psychoactive chemical weapon that induces extreme confusion and hallucinations. It was developed during the Cold War era as a chemical agent for military use. BZ is odorless and tasteless, making it difficult to detect when administered. It was intended to be used as a non-lethal incapacitating agent in warfare, causing disorientation and rendering enemy soldiers unable to engage in combat effectively. The effects of BZ typically begin within one to two hours after exposure and can last for several days. Symptoms include hallucinations, delusions, paranoia, agitation, and disorientation. Users may experience vivid and terrifying visual and auditory hallucinations, leading to severe psychological distress. BZ works by blocking the action of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter in the brain that is involved in the regulation of cognitive function and behavior. By disrupting the normal functioning of acetylcholine receptors, BZ interferes with the brain's ability to process sensory information and coordinate thought processes, leading to the characteristic symptoms of intoxication. Due to its extreme potency and long-lasting effects, BZ is considered a highly dangerous chemical weapon. Its use in warfare is prohibited under international law, and it is classified as a Schedule I controlled substance by the United Nations. Despite these regulations, concerns remain about the potential use of BZ by military or terrorist organizations. Research into the effects of BZ and its potential medical applications is limited due to ethical considerations and safety concerns. However, scientists continue to study its mechanism of action and explore potential antidotes or treatments for BZ exposure. Al Herpin, born in Paris on January 1, 1862, became known as the Man Who Never Slept. Residing in Trenton, New Jersey, Herpin claimed to have never experienced sleep, although the cause of this phenomenon remains unknown. Despite occasional appearances in newspapers, medical experts universally agree that sleep is a fundamental requirement for human health, even if individuals are not consciously aware of it. A piece in the New York Times from February 29, 1904, highlighted Herpin's extraordinary claim. Albert Herpin, born in France in 1862, and for 15 years a hostler in the employ of freeholder Walter Ferris of this city, declares that he has not slept a wink during the past 10 years. Notwithstanding this, he is in perfect health and does not seem to suffer any discomfort from his remarkable condition. 
Al Herpin passed away on January 3, 1947, reportedly at the age of 94. His obituary in the New York Times noted, Death came today for Alfred E. Herpin, a recluse who lived on the outskirts of the city and insisted that he never slept. He was 94 years old and, when questioned concerning his claim of sleeplessness, maintained that he never actually dozed, but merely rested. No other person with total insomnia has lived for such a long period of time. It was likely that he died for other reasons, not sleep deprivation, as his insomnia did not seem to have any effect on his health. Other instances of major or total insomnia include Paul Kern, a Hungarian soldier, who reportedly never slept after sustaining a gunshot wound to the head. Additionally, fatal familial insomnia is a rare genetic disorder that leads to progressively worsening insomnia and eventually death. Dream spying, also known as dream telepathy or telepathic dreaming, is a phenomenon where one person claims to have had a dream that accurately reflects the experiences or thoughts of another person without any prior knowledge of those experiences or thoughts. This concept has fascinated individuals for centuries, blurring the lines between the realms of the subconscious and the supernatural. Reports of dream spying often involve vivid dreams in which the dreamer perceives events, emotions, or details from the perspective of another person, sometimes even from a great distance. These dreams can feel incredibly realistic, leading some to believe that they have tapped into a hidden realm of communication beyond the physical world. While skeptics attribute dream spying to coincidence, shared cultural experiences, or the brain's ability to weave narratives from random information, proponents of the phenomenon argue that it offers evidence of a deeper connection between individuals, suggesting the existence of psychic or telepathic abilities. The history of dream spying is intertwined with various cultural and spiritual beliefs, with references to similar experiences found in ancient texts and folklore around the world. Some cultures have rituals or practices aimed at enhancing dream communication or interpretation, viewing dreams as a gateway to understanding the mysteries of the universe. In modern times, dream spying has garnered attention from researchers interested in exploring the boundaries of consciousness and human perception. While scientific studies on the topic are limited and inconclusive, anecdotal accounts continue to fuel intrigue and speculation. Regardless of one's beliefs, the concept of dream spying raises intriguing questions about the nature of consciousness, the interconnectedness of individuals, and the mysteries of the human mind. Whether viewed as a paranormal phenomenon or a product of the subconscious, dream spying offers a fascinating glimpse into the enigmatic world of dreams and their potential significance in our lives. Being trapped in a dream is a phenomenon where individuals experience difficulty waking up from a dream state. This sensation can create a feeling of being stuck or unable to escape the dream world. The dreamer may attempt to wake up, but find themselves unable to do so, leading to a sense of frustration or panic. Trapped in dream experiences can vary in duration, with some individuals feeling trapped for what seems like hours, while others may experience it for only a few minutes. During this time, the dreamer may become aware that they are dreaming, known as lucid dreaming, but still struggle to awaken. Factors such as stress, anxiety, or sleep disorders like sleep paralysis may contribute to feeling trapped in a dream. Additionally, certain medications or substances may affect sleep patterns and contribute to this phenomenon. While experiencing being trapped in a dream can be unsettling, it is usually temporary and individuals typically wake up naturally once the dream cycle ends. However, in some cases, seeking support from a healthcare professional may be necessary if these experiences become frequent or distressing. <laughs>